Yes, the joys of growing out a beard uh, while, you know, and you don't uh, do anything with it for, do anything with it yet. <laughs> anyway, there is an argument that gets used in these, the, these discussions about gaming and what's in a lot of games that I find rather distasteful. And I want to put an end to this argument right now. Okay. When you tell people that they shouldn't try to get gaming companies to, uh, hey, can you make something uh, like this? Have you thought about doing this before? Yeah, when you're telling people don't do that, you should make your own games. That's like what Linux fanatics will say about uh, people who complain, like, like myself, where I've complained about the fact that there isn't any, there aren't any decent creative software titles available for Linux, for the most part anyway. Um, uh, it's, it's all like open source stuff that acts like software from 2002, you know. Oh, don't complain about it. Make your own. Uh, excuse me? No. I'm not a programmer. I'm just saying I, I, I wish there were these things. Well, don't complain about... No, I'll just not use Linux. And I don't. Okay, there are alternative operating systems to Linux, and that's what I use. Okay, my system is a, cross, is a dual boot between OS X and Windows. So, <laughs> you know... Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, but you know, this same type of argument is also like, if someone was to say, you know, tell someone, well, don't complain about the fact that there are these elements to cars that are unsafe. Um, if you have an idea for, for something that would make a car safer, um, don't tell the car companies about it. Don't tell them about it. Uh, magically inherit millions of dollars, start your own company, hire hundreds of employees, and make your own. Yeah, it's as idiotic as that. It's a really, really stupid argument. You can't just sit down and make a game. You know, oh, well, you should, you should put the effort into to learning how to program and learn. Yes, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spend, uh, uh, yes, let's, let's spend 10 years so we can do something that isn't really that important to us. Um, let's put all this passion into, to just put 10 years of work into something so we can create a game. No, it's, it's the, it's the most, one of the most idiotic expectations you could possibly put onto someone. I mean, it is a stupid argument, stupid. I can't believe people are still using that as an argument. Now, what I don't what I don't approve of is when people are saying telling game companies what they shouldn't make. Okay, don't tell don't tell companies what they shouldn't make. You know, give game companies give whatever kind of company it is. If you have some ideas that would be cool, give them ideas that you think would be cool. Okay? I think that's a reasonable thing. Hey, could you make something that, that does this? And maybe they'll think about it. But telling them, no, you need to stop doing this and you need to... That's stupid. And with, on that, I will agree with you. I will totally agree with you. And that's what a lot of Anita's uh, crowd does. Instead of talking about what they think would be good to be in games, they talk about what they don't like in the games. You know? And most of it's pretty damn whiny. So, you know, the, the, the market already has companies that are established, okay? You can't expect one person because, oh, they'd like to see more of this. To, oh, let's make, let's have them start their own business. Let's, I mean, do you know how much money it takes? Do you know how much effort it takes? Well, if, if you're passionate about that, they should, you should do that. No, no. For those of you that think that's a, a reasonable argument, 
I have two words for you. And I know I try to be pretty positive in my videos, but you know, that argument is getting so old. So for those of you that try to make that argument, start your own company and do your own thing. Make, make your own game. I have two words for you. Fuck you.